Joining us this morning to talk about how September 11th affects San Diego and also an update on the blackout situation, kind of a, a potpourri this morning. It is a sh <laughs> Sheriff Bill Gore, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sure. First of all, thanks for all the hard work last night. Talk about how you handled that situation. This is the biggest widespread blackout we've ever had. Yeah, we have, well, all law enforcement and public safety have contingency plans you put into effect when you have this type of uh, an event, and, and everything worked as it should have. Uh, we had additional resources that came in, uh, patrol deputies, as did the San Diego uh, Police Department, Fire Department. Uh, they did a lot of rescues. We had our volunteers came in uh, to help with traffic control. And then we tried to get the message out to everybody to stay calm, get home, stay home, stay off your phones, go out and talk to your neighbors. And from what I'm hearing this morning, there was a lot of block parties that went on, which yeah. I think is great. Maybe, we're, maybe we, we made new friends out there last yeah. night. Talk about those rescues a little bit, because it's a lot of people's fear. Elevators, when, when electricity goes out. Right. Were there a lot of those? Yeah, I, I was with uh, the fire chief last night, and he said that they made quite a few of them. But uh, when I talked to him, it was probably 7 o'clock, and they were all done. All the elevators were clear. And the fact that we only had a couple of real minor incidents when you have a blackout of yeah. that size with a population of this size, what does that say about San Diego? I think it's a testament to the, you know, the people of San Diego and uh, to the mindset here. You know, they didn't take this as an opportunity to go out and, and raise heck around town. Uh, they took it as a chance to maybe get to know the neighbors they hadn't met before. Uh, we had extra patrols out there, I and mean, I think that the message is you don't want to get on the roads. It's dangerous out there. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 intersections are uncontrolled, so stay home, stay off the phone, and uh, and bid. Well, let's talk about this morning. Sure. You, you obviously driving over here. You probably <laughs> noticed some some street lights still out. So yes. What would you suggest? Well, I, 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 people have just got to learn if there's a flashing red light, uh, stop. you know, stop. <laughs> and if there's a, a section, I I don't think there's many without some type of either flashing red light, but if they come to an intersection and the lights are obviously out, treat it as a four-way stop and just, you know, better safe than sorry. Uh, most of the people when I was going home last night around midnight were we're doing that, but every once in a while you see a guy just you know, right yeah. through. blowing hey, right through. We know the power outage is out now, but yeah. you're still, sheriffs are still on alert. We're yeah. learning more about this a credible threat possibly for 9-11. They're ramping up in Washington, D.C. They're ramping up in New York City. What are you doing here as far as preparing security-wise for the well, anniversary? The, the, the word went out to, to all of local law enforcement through Joint Terrorism Task Force all over the United States about this, this uh, what they call uh, credible but unconfirmed threat. Uh, we've been in a, in a heightened state of awareness, if you will, for probably the last you know month or two months, knowing that as we approach the anniversary of 9-11, uh, some of these terrorists would like to make a statement uh, on, on the anniversary. So we've even done public service announcements, uh, asking our, 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 our neighbors and our friends and our, the public we serve here in San Diego to be more alert, not to try to scare them, yeah. but just say, hey, this is a possibility. Uh, be extra aware of your surroundings. If you see something sp suspicious, call law enforcement. Ten years ago, when this happened right here that we're seeing on the screen, 9-11, you were special agent in charge here in San Diego. How have we grown as a nation since there, when it comes to security? Oh, I, I think we're light years ahead of where we were ten years ago. Um, the coordination is better. We've changed a lot of guidelines. We've changed a lot of laws that govern how the CIA and the FBI share information together, for example. Uh, we've changed guidelines that, that uh, govern how the FBI does intelligence investigations and criminal investigations and, and made our information back and forth easier. And the, I, <clears throat> I think one of the most important changes we've made is we have, at a national level, incorporated 800,000 local police officers in the United States into this, uh, this counterterrorism effort. Uh, we got people out there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, not that we can train them like you would train a counterterrorism agent in the FBI, but we can certainly give them the basic training in, in pre-incident indicators to terrorism. And uh, we've done that in every station, every precinct in San Diego County, and it's been done around the United States. So you have a, a go-to local cop right. in every station that other deputies, other police officers can go to. They know how to get that piece of intelligence into the mix so it can be analyzed by the Joint Terrorism Task Force and maybe uh, mean something to an analyst, uh, something an analyst has gained in Pakistan. Uh, before, we didn't have those mechanisms in place. And I, I don't think it's an accident that we've gone 10 years without a major terrorist attack. It's through a lot of hard work by our military, our public safety, and our intelligence uh, agencies all over the United States and the world.
Sure, Phil Gore, thanks for being here. We Thank appreciate you very much. You're going to be a part, real quick, we got to go, but you're going to be a part of a ceremony at uh, Qualcomm on Sunday. For, yeah, the Public Congress. Safety uh, Recognition Appreciation Day, and uh, I know a lot of the Chiefs will be there participating in that, and uh, hope yeah. the Chargers win. Be a packed house there. Yeah. Hopefully everything stays safe. Thanks, Dave. Right? Thanks All so right, much. thank you so much. All right, Sunday.